When it first started, when we, people started applying for training, we uh, told them that they would have to leave the community to go out for training in other institutions. Uh, we have the technology to facilitate training here for, for these people, and it's, it's an opportunity for them to stay home. Well, the training center is here to prepare for the young people. Not only for the young people, but uh, I guess uh, anybody can join in there if they want to. Right now, they have computer skills and heavy equipment training. I'm happy that I'm here and not to leave the family. I want to hopefully work in the mining sector uh, as an environmental monitor. The students in this training center have now access to thought leadership and teachers and professionals and expertise that may not reside in their communities. This is a game changer for Northern communities. Being connected to the outside world opens up a whole new wonderful spectrum of education, training, and it's gonna be owned and operated by the Matawa First Nations, and that's very important to them. And through the collaboration technologies, they not only can communicate with those professionals that may be in all different parts of Canada, but all also eventually within the communities and within other communities. And it's this sense of collaboration that will really drive innovation. It's, it's a good opportunity for the young people, especially if there's going to be uh, economic development happening around here. I think it will benefit the community here. They can uh, work here in the communities or in a place they could find jobs. Uh, nowadays it gives young people some hope.